Hello, my name is Carolina and I'm a facilitator with Tree of Light Retreats. And today I wanted to share with you how ayahuasca has played a very powerful role in my journey of releasing the negative emotions that were controlling my mind on a daily basis and how this medicine has opened my ability to receive the guidance and listen to the energy that comes through my heart space. Many people are living their lives today trapped in their minds and ruled by these emotions of sadness and anger and fear. And most people have gotten really good at projecting out to the world a smile and that they're happy and going about their everyday life. But inside of them is an internal dialogue that is very self-defeating and contains a lot of judgment and things like this that isn't allowing them to live in their full potential and their full happiness and their full wholeness. And I think most people would have told you before I started drinking ayahuasca that I seemed like a very happy person. And I can, I know this for myself that inside of me was so much fear and so much mistrust. And it took me a long time to make decisions to be able to change my life because I was stuck in the fear. And I think so many people out there are living like this right now. They're in jobs that they're not happy with. They're in relationships they're not happy with. But the fear of survival or finding another partner or whatever it may be holds them back in their lives. Many of us have heard about the law of attraction, that if we think positive thoughts, positive things will happen in our life. If we dream about success and we put our intentions toward, towards being successful, that we'll be successful. And this is true. It does really matter how our energy is vibrating of what will come in our life. If we're stuck in negativity and sadness, then this will manifest in, in situations that are happening in our life. But for most people, this, this concept isn't so simple. It's, it's not so simple as just training the mind. And I really saw this after doing so much work with ayahuasca that no matter how much I was trying to be a positive person, there were some really big energies that were stuck inside of me that needed to be cleared out in order for me to, to really work with this this concept of staying in a positive space and watching how that manifests in my life. Five years ago now, I started working with ayahuasca and very early on in my medicine journey, I was shown how these lower vibrational emotions and energies that I was holding were inhibiting me from really living my life and my true potential. and. It took time, you know, some of these energies really started to shift quickly and other ones, it depends how deep they are. Um, but I slowly started to watch my mistrust dissolve, my fears dissolving, my sadness being taken out. And I've always worked with Shipibo healers. So when they come and sing Icaros to you, they can see these energies that we're holding in our body. And I could see them like sticky magnets stuck to me. And they started to go, you know? This work really moved these energies out of me. And I could see these really big differences in the way that I was thinking, the way that I was feeling. And I can still remember the first ceremony that I really felt like I was listening to the wisdom that was coming through my heart space and the guidance that was coming from there and not from the energy of my mind, not something that I was thinking about or had created. And it was so beautiful. It was such a powerful time in my life. And being someone who was always ruled by my worry, 
this was huge for me and I had to make some really big decisions. Um, I think people probably thought I was crazy at the time. I walked away from a really successful business I had created and but I knew and there was this very deep knowing that that chapter of my life was closing and a new chapter was opening and all of the tricks that my mind normally would have played of you're not going to have enough money, how are you going to survive, this, this energy that was coming through my heart space was stronger than that and I just went for it and I'm so so grateful that I was able to have that kind of courage. Um, I wouldn't be the person that I am today had I not and I wouldn't have my beautiful husband, I wouldn't have my beautiful daughter if I hadn't listened. And um, I'm so grateful to this medicine, to this work for being able to, to help me to free myself. I really feel like I've been freed from being a slave to these emotions that were ruling my mind. So thank you for taking time to listen to this video. My prayer is that it gives hope to people who are considering to come work with this medicine. Um, this medicine is so powerful and so sacred and really does create lasting change in people's lives. Thank you.